Good morning, brothers and sisters, lovers, haters, boys, girls, and vibrations. I hope everybody's well. Now, I'm going out the door in five minutes. I thought there's just time to make a little quick video this morning. You see, I got talking to Mr. Alex Kearney the other night on the phone, and we had a, a good crack. And it got me thinking about something I've never mentioned. You know, I, I, I've been vocal about the program. I've been vocal about, you know, my prayers, meditation, gratitude, just for today, step work, which is the necessary tools, right, to keep my addiction at bay. But something I've never really mentioned which I should have by now it's talking talking having a crack you see I get absolutely everything that I need out of the fellowship why you might ask well because I'm surrounded by like-minded people who are recovering addicts you see you get a chance to listen you listen to what every everyone's got to say you know and if you feel like it then you can speak and you can share on anything that you want anything that you want you can share on in that room you know involving your recovery and your new way of life or your old way of life well that consists of everything when you're an addict you can talk about anything down them rooms and you won't be judged you see when i was in active addiction i couldn't verbalize how i was feeling i expressed my emotions through actions usually negative ones you know violence and aggression and ignorance but you see now thanks to the rooms I can go down and I can speak to like-minded recovering addicts who all want the same thing which is what they all want to be clean they all want a new way of life sobriety is what they want and you see when you get someone that's qualified in this and that and you know mental health qualifications or you know certificates for this and PhDs for that and degrees for this I say fair play to them people fair play to them people you know people with no criminal records people who's studied all the life and learned all the life to become where they are in the life I say fair play to those people but guess what I don't identify with them very rarely do I get identification through those types of people even though i've got a massive respect for them and we need those people to make the world go around my identification lies with people who've been in the darkness people who have been in active addiction for years and done terrible things and people who do not who who, who did not like each themselves people who didn't like themselves people who behaved erratically and sporadically and you know we're always finding and using you know ways and means to get more they're the people i identify with the most they're the people that i can listen to they're the people that i can talk to because they get me and i get them you know as i've said we need these people with no criminal records with you know immaculate backgrounds and qualifications and degrees and all the rest of it we need them people but i don't get them you know massive respect for them but i just don't identify on a personal level with those type of people that's why i love going to fellowship because i'm surrounded by like-minded people what i'm trying to get at here is this as men we don't talk enough we don't express how we feel 
You see, I've been given that by the program. I can go down and I can express how I feel and I can listen to other recovering addicts and I can identify with them. Now, I know the rooms of recovery are not for everybody. Not everybody needs them, but everybody needs to talk. Trust me on that. When I first started in recovery, I didn't want to help anybody. I had no intention. It wasn't at the forefront of my life helping people. I wasn't there because I was broken. I was a broken person that needed to fix myself first. And even though I'm relatively early in recovery, I'm on 203 days clean today. And that feels good. And I'm very, very passionate about my recovery. And I'll go to any lengths to stay clean. Just as once upon a time I would go to any lengths to score. Now I'll go to any lengths to stay clean. But the, the point of this whole video was we need to speak to one another. Not everybody wants to listen. Not everybody that you think is your friend wants to help you. That's a fact. You know, if you can find somebody like-minded, somebody with a good set of ears that you can speak to and you can express how you feel emotionally or personally, then that is a magnificent tool and it's one of the best tools in life to be able to talk to somebody. You see, when you express verbally to a friend or a loved one or somebody who perhaps is qualified or somebody who you can identify with above and beyond, if you can speak your mind to that person, believe this, you will feel an alleviation of weight. You'll feel unburdened. You'll feel unshackled from whatever it is that you're going through. You know, I'm not qualified in any way, shape or form. I don't have any qualifications, none, nil, a scaffolding one, you know, but... What I've learned is expressing myself through, you know, the fellowship has been a godsend for me, you know, and it's making me, it's, it's a way, it's a place where I can channel my emotions for the better. Now, I would advise anybody to talk to another, and if you're somebody out there that knows that you, there's a person there in trouble, or there's a person there suffering, with something mentally, why don't you reach out to them? Why don't you reach out to them and extend your courtesy and say, is there anything you'd like to talk about between me and you? No, let's have a private conversation. Maybe start it with telling them how you feel so they can identify with you. Because talking saves lives. And that's a fact, you know. It, it's just a simple fact of life. Expressing yourself verbally with somebody who you identify with might save your life. You know, and if it doesn't, it'll certainly make you feel better. It'll certainly make you feel better. If you're not on the brink of suicide and anything like that, that's a brilliant thing. But if you're suffering from anything and you don't want to talk about it, if you do, you know, summon the courage to mention it to a friend or a loved one or someone who you can identify with, then you will feel better. Trust me on that. Now, have a beautiful day, everybody, because I'm on one today and I feel amazing. I love you all. Bye-bye for now. Mwah.